Welcome back, readers. Thank you for joining us for another virtual story time. Make sure to check out our other videos for today. A special reading by author Iona Holland of her story, Buddy Bison's Yellowstone Adventure, and the presentation about all about buffalo or bison, sorry, bisons that accompanies that. And also our reading of Buffalo Woman. You can also check out the story walk for Buddy Bison in front of Rehoboth Beach Public Library and come in to find your very own Buddy Bison that you can keep. Let's get started with this story, Grandfather Buffalo, written and illustrated by Jim Arnosky. Grandfather Buffalo was old and slow, but he was still strong. He was the biggest and oldest bull in the herd, and he was getting older every day. He spent a lot of time alone, lying in the tall grass, resting his old bones. When the herd moved on, Grandfather Buffalo slowly stood, shook the dust off his sides, and followed. Each time he was left a little farther behind. But as long as he could see the others, he was still a part of the herd. Longhorn cattle and prairie dogs kept the old buffalo company some of the way. Mostly, though, he walked alone, following the fresh tracks of his herd. One day, at the drinking stream, Grandfather Buffalo came upon another buffalo, also traveling far behind the herd. It was a young cow carrying the heavy weight of her unborn calf. Together, they followed the tracks of the herd. When some cowboys came looking for their cattle, Grandfather Buffalo snorted at them and pawed the ground until they rode away. Later that night, with the herd grazing close by, the cow gave birth to her calf. All through the night, Grandfather Buffalo listened in the darkness for sounds of danger, but all he heard were the tiny bleats of the newborn calf and the soft grunts of its mother. <clears throat> in the morning light, the old bull walked over for a closer look. The calf looked up, unafraid. When the herd moved on, the calf stumbled and hopped and ran, trying to keep up with his mother and the rest. Grandfather Buffalo was close behind, nudging the calf along. They walked into a dust storm. The calf lost sight of his mother and ran around bleeding loudly. In the blur of the storm, he accidentally ran into Grandfather Buffalo and butted his hard little head into the old bull's woolly side. Grandfather Buffalo grunted and kept grunting as he walked. 
The camp followed the sound through the blinding dust. When the dust cleared, the herd was grazing just ahead. The calf ran to his mother. Grandfather Buffalo was tired and wanted to be by himself. He found a quiet spot to lie down and quietly fell asleep. It was night when the old bull was awakened by something pressing against his ribs. It was the calf napping by his side. In the light of the rising moon, Grandfather Buffalo got up, waking the calf with the motion. Then the calf followed his mother and Grandfather Buffalo, followed the calf down to the rest of the herd. They all grazed together. Grandfather Buffalo was old, and slow, but he was still a part of the herd. Thank you for joining us for Jim Arnosky's Grandfather Buffalo. We hope to see you again in person or virtually very soon.